In this video, I'll show you how you can make an admin panel or a GUI or front end on top of your Superbase instance in about five minutes. Let me first show you what this looks like. So this is a Superbase database that I'm using for a Paul Graham essay app. Basically, I'm storing all of Paul Graham's essays in this Superbase database, but I want to be able to edit this and manage it, which is where a nice GUI or admin panel would be really, really helpful. So what I've done is I've gone to Airtable and I've created this one using Airtable's AI feature. And basically what it lets me do is make changes to any of these essays. I can also add new essays and that will get updated in my Superbase database. Of course, what's really nice is that once it's in Airtable, I can also easily build things like an essay dashboard here that gives me a quick overview of the total number of essays or a breakdown of how many I've tagged as popular. But again, all of this is the power of an admin panel, which we'll build together here in just a couple minutes. The first step in building our admin panel is to make sure that we are mirroring the architecture that we have in Superbase in Airtable. So in order for this Airtable admin panel to work, it needs to have the same tables and fields in this Airtable base as we have in Superbase. So the quickest way to do that is first to just export this as a CSV. So I'll go ahead and export to CSV. And now we have that ready for us. And what we can do is go to Airtable and click on create new and build an app with AI. This will let us drag our CSV into here and tell Airtable what we're trying to set up. So I'll just give it the context, which is that we're building an admin panel for this app. So to do that, I'll go ahead and copy and paste this in. And basically, again, I'm just telling Airtable what I want. I can hit next from there and Airtable AI will go off and do its thing. And there we go. Airtable AI has built the structure of our dashboard. And you can see we've got an overview here as well as a chart and essay dashboard. This looks good. So let's go ahead and create this app and let it do its job. All right, so we now have our admin panel and that is pretty cool. Like this is literally a place that we can give to someone on the team who's not an engineer and they can make updates to these essays, to these URLs, the reading time, whatever else. And these dashboards that we wanted that we talked about are basically just built for us. We might need to tweak them a little bit to make these charts a little better, but you can already see this tags one, this count, they're nice as well. Now that we have a Superbase database and we have the infrastructure built for Airtable, the key last bit is actually connecting the two. So when one of our teammates makes an update in the same table, we wanted to actually update the database in Superbase and vice versa. If there are actual updates in Superbase, we want it to come into our admin panel. To actually connect Airtable and Superbase, we're gonna use our own tool, which is WhaleSync. So WhaleSync basically lets you build a two-way sync between tools like Superbase and Airtable, which turns Airtable into an admin panel for Superbase. To set that up, it's really easy. I've already connected the two. So from here, we're just going to add a table mapping. So this is telling WhaleSync that we'd like to connect that essays table in Superbase with my essays table and Airtable. From here, WhaleSync will automatically map the fields that match. So we can basically tell it that we want the title in Superbase. So we can take a look at this, like title here to match up with the title here in our Airtable. But essentially we're building the backbones of our admin panel. We're telling it how we want to connect these two tools. Now it automatically mapped fields. We can also add things like the date manually, which have slightly different names, but that's really it. From here, I can hit save and continue and prepare an initial sync. With the initial sync, WhaleSync will take all the data that's in Superbase and bring it into Airtable as we build out our admin panel. So we don't really need all the data that we brought in through CSV before. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to data here and just clear this out so that we can have a nice clean sync from Superbase into our new admin panel. And that looks good. So let's go ahead and scan. We also think we'll take a quick look at what's in Superbase and notice it before turning on sync. So there we go. looks like it found now 100 records and in a second, another 227. And there we go. So I can hit continue. We can skip record matching, not really important if we have no data in Airtable, which we just did. And a little preview of what is gonna do once you turn it on, which is it's gonna create those 227 records in Airtable as we start. So let's go ahead and activate the sync and let this run. So WhaleSync will go ahead and do this initial sync to build out our admin panel. So if I go back into Airtable, you can see all of this data coming in directly from Superbase. And we'll let this run, it'll take another minute or so. But once this is done, your admin panel is ready to go. You now have a place that you can update directly in Airtable or go over to their nice interface here and make updates there as well. But that's really it. Airtable and Superbase are two-way syncing. They're connected. I can make updates here. They sync the Superbase and vice versa. 
crates, updates, deletes, all the things you'd expect in a traditional GUI or end panel are there. And again, this only took like five minutes, which is the whole beauty of it. So let us know if you have questions about how to build out panels, Superbase, Airtable, really anything that comes to mind. We are excited to roll this out for more and more tools. Today, you can build out panels with Airtable, with Notion and Google Sheets. But Superbase is always an awesome place to work with your data.